Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft with Anon Jr., where we are playing live on the Coffee Craft server. It's uh, <laughs> it's going to be a little more laid back today. Behind me, you see the community center. A little bit next to that, you see the old iron farm and villager trading center. We should be either in the process of working on that or... We should be working on it before the next live stream or on the next live stream. Uh, been holding off until things with the villagers got settled down with the 1.14 updates. And 1.14.4 was updated over the weekend. I haven't had a chance to install it yet. And my, my only opportunity would have been yesterday. And installing a new, uh, an upgraded to the server the day before you stream rarely seems like a smart idea so that's gonna happen tomorrow when we got time to fix it between you know now and the next stream behind me on this side you see I still got a bit of mountain left to go and then this side of the mountain will be complete I may do some reshaping of that part a little bit later on but um, that first then the blank spot over by the lake next year. We'll uh, fly around that way real quick. I st that part third. So <laughs> the side we just left first. Then over here, we're going to get this part of the mountain done next. I would want to bring up that hillside so it's about even with where that dirt line is right there. That dirt line is going to be the top of the mountain. And it's maybe going to come out two to three blocks away from the castle. And then start a fairly uh, steep decline just like the rest of the uh, area over here. And then I'll start tying it into this and then I can finally finish building out that cave mouth. Uh, while I'm reshaping this side of the terrain, I'm also going to pull this bit of mountainside forward to be directly under the track. Um, I might forego filling in this particular part of the build. I have not decided yet. That part is, uh, I don't know. I really, really, really hate hollow builds, but uh, it might be a necessary evil in this case. So... Those are some of the big grindy type projects that I got going on my side. Uh, I do have more to do this castle. It's been kind of on hiatus, partly because of inspiration or lack thereof, partly because I really want to get the hillside finished before I figure out what is next uh, in its entirety. And I definitely want to put a couple of uh, turrets and whatnot. Um, on the corners, probably a little more squarular given, you know, the nature of Minecraft and I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to try to make circles. This is a fairly blockish castle and I'll kind of lean into that instead. I might replace the nether brick with something else or I might use nether brick for some of the, the pillars of support that I'm going to put on the outside and ex bring that walkway forward a little bit. Uh, the problem with having it as flat as it is, is the spiders can still climb up it. I mean, I do intend to light the outside once the hill is done being built, but until that point in time, I, I can't, it's not entirely safe to just stand on the rampart and watch, because the spiders will climb up the side. I'm also, at some point, going to section off the inside here and start getting some villager trading booths all around the perimeter. Then I get a big surprise for something in the middle that I'll talk about after it's built. And hopefully by then I'll be recording regular episodes and it might show up in an episode instead of a live stream. Um, but we'll see about that one too. So still more to do in here. I've been kind of stalling on this part again because with the villager trading, I didn't want to go through building a booth, finding out that something critical had changed, build it again, find out something had changed, build it again, find out something had changed, and rinse repeat that. But now that 1.14.4 is out and it is relatively stable, I can start getting back into all the plans involving villagers and things should be good. So, since we didn't have that update installed, what we're going to do is take a look at something we were working on uh, during what little downtime we had this week. 
We've been helping out Arcadius with one of his big builds, and uh, I, I needed something kind of, uh, how shall I put this, of low mental intensity. That, that, that's probably the best way to phrase it. He needed the help. I need something to work on that didn't require a whole lot of thought consideration. <laughs> And uh, so we were able to help each other out with this. And today on the live stream, we're going to try to at least finish up the floor, if not more. And uh, just talk and chat about a few other things, too, while we're at it. Like plans for the server, plans for the channel, plans for all sorts of things. Uh, remind you that if you get value from the stream, please feel free to give back. At live.anonjunior.com, there's a little donations page or tip page, whichever way you want to phrase it, whatever uh, makes you happy. Go help out if you've been uh, getting any kind of value from this. All right, I got to figure out where he tossed the torches so I can grab one in my offhand. I might just have to pick one up off the floor somewhere. Um, yeah, okay, fine. I'll pick one up off the floor here. I do have Optifine installed. That's why holding a torch in my hand will give me a little lighting. And you'll see what we've been doing is we've been digging out everything that's not bedrock because we're not digging out bedrock. Yes, there's a way to uh, dig bedrock, but no, we're not that crazy yet. Um, so we've been digging out everything that is not bedrock and putting in some black glass. We're trying to create a bit of a void feel in this room. I say we, I mean he. I'm just the hard labor. Uh, <laughs> and so this is what I was working on during my downtime over the past week. Uh, a lot of other things going on, but we'll, we'll hit on that here and there as we go about our chat. So trying to get a nice little void feel over here, some lighting on the wall. I will have to work with him on trying to figure out a way to light up his artwork a little bit better because that is, uh, that is too good to be sitting in the dark like that. So I'll have to figure out a better way to light it or backlight it or something. So, uh, enough that you get enough that you get a sense of the artwork, but not so much that it overpowers the general aesthetic of the uh, the world around it. And hopefully he's going to be finishing the, installing the lights over there. I know he was doing some end grading earlier. Uh, and hopefully that yielded what he needed to finish installing lights along the wall there. And the nice thing is, since glass is a non-spawnable surface, nothing's going to be spawning on here. Bedrock is a non-spawnable surface, so nothing's going to be spawning up here. So the act of finishing this will make it spawn-proof. And uh, that that that's helped, especially as we glassed over the uh, slime chunks. Because there were a couple in here. Well, there technically still are a couple in here. But <laughs> they, they've been glassed over. And there is Arcadius. Hello, hello. Hello. Back to do some more manual labor there, Wookie. Yep. Back to some more manual labor. Where's the uh, black glass? Got back from an end raid. And if I'd known you were going to be here, I'd have... Uh not dropped everything I got for you over in your uh, mailbox, but um, oh. <laughs> yeah, have fun. It's a short flight. Okay. okay. Hey, where's the black glass that you want in the rest of this? Um, I had to disperse it through a few of the boxes to tear down all the other boxes. Uh, okay. I'm seeing it's, buttons. Uh, it's in the pumpkin box here. Oh. <laughs> don't ask. Just don't ask. <laughs> nope, th this is me not asking. <laughs> nope, not even a little bit. Yep, yep. I went ahead and tore most of it out so we could, uh, or, well, I could pull it all yeah. up, yeah. do the floor and all that. Well, since you're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it'll be nice to see those lights go in, too. So, oh, and I can't remember if I mentioned it on stream or not, but, it, well, he was in a little granite shelter somewhere over here, and he's now in the stack of dried kelp. We've got a uh, villager here that Arcadius cured of. Oh, apparently, I forgot to put glass down over here. Um, 
That's, that's a common thing. Yeah, I've done that a few too many times. That that's the that's the one problem with uh, black glass. I love it. I love the way it looks. I just hate that I can't always tell when it's uh, when it's there and when it's not. Okay, where was that? Am I gonna have to fall in the same stupid hole again? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Um, yeah, I totally lost my train of thought. That's been happening a lot this week, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah, new stuff at work. All sorts of fun there. And, uh, oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Arcadius rescued a, uh, found a random zombie villager down here and cured him of his uh, zombieism. And that's been his new best friend trading partner. And eventually we're, we're going to get a, uh, we're going to get another villager down here somewhere, somehow. We've had various suggestions. <laughs> I keep saying, take one of the extra yahoos that I got over in my farm from that bug that happened in uh, one of the earlier 1.14 builds. Where they kept breeding regardless of beds or space or anything. As long as they had food and they were willing. And boy, were they willing. Um, I, I got a small village worth just in my carrot and potato farm. Which is going to need some updates. Um... That is on the slate now that uh, 1.14.4 has finally been finalized. <laughs> but this has been uh, th this has been my zen for the <laughs> especially last weekend. Dig in place. Where'd that go? Wondering. Wondering. The sea lantern white enough to replace the center on uh, Navi here. Ooh. Um. It would be worth taking a look. I'm just not sure if the blue green is going to be off enough to feel out of place or on enough to fit in with the rest. And I don't think you're going to know that. That's not bad. Is it enough source that you can actually see that? Yeah. You, you can definitely see that a lot better. I mean, still a little dark towards the corners, especially if you're... Uh, the stream seems a little darker than my own monitor does. Which is curious. Notice that until I actually looked over to check. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking at too. When I streamed over at my uh, the Guardian Farm, I realized that while I could see everything perfectly, my stream saw nothing but darkness. <laughs> so I was like, "Yeah, hmm, well, that's not good." All right, uh, I'll have to look into that. I don't. I wonder if that's a problem with XSplit or if that's a problem with. Uh, with Minecraft or something else, or how the game capture's done. Mm. Oh, okay, I'll be able to dig in and get that a little bit better there. Yeah, this is done. Or actually, that might, because it seems to blend really well with the uh, cyan. I might yeah, just replace the cyan with it and put the white back. Uh, no, no, that it's a little too white to do that. Nah, yeah. Yeah. I'll let it sit and I'll yeah, let, see how I feel about it tomorrow. Exactly. Let it let it sit like that for a day or two and then uh and then go from there. I think that yeah, I think that just might be it. Uh, problem is there's no blue or green on your uh potion bottle over here. 
have to yeah, do no, that. Yeah, no, I'm sure. going to have to find another way to pull it off. And same thing for the Triforce. Um, although, I wonder if you put a uh, glowstone behind yellow glass on maybe like each point of each triangle in the Triforce. That might give it a bit of a glow and... Is it going to still give it that sheen that the gold blocks are giving it? Because that was, that was the whole point yeah. of using the gold blocks instead of using like, you know, and gold concrete. Or... I know, I know. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> it's not my fault you guys right. don't dig. Let me look around you right here. <laughs> yeah. This is only like my second. No, no this is my third big dig project. <laughs> yeah. Wait, third? The Guardian mm -hmm. Farm. This. What's the third mm -hmm. one? What's the third one? I take it you've never been below my uh, starter base, have you? <laughs> oh, that's not that big. Not compared to this. Well, both of these were done with beacons. I mean, of course, that one's not going to be as big. <laughs> yeah. Didn't want to do that. Yeah, some of these uh, bedrock bits have been kind of fun to get lost in. Okay, fun's not the word I'd actually choose, but it's the word I can use and keep my rating. That's why I brought some ender pearls with me. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out so well. There's also a couple of stacks of them in the boxes there too. If you need more. Yeah. Oh, oh. Don't ask me which there box, but... I don't know. Are they in the melon box? Because if the black glass is in the pumpkin, then... uh. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, isn't that a... <laughs> yeah, that... Getting those things in helps a lot. Like, that already makes the, the Triforce a little bit better. Now, now I'm kind of curious to look at the stream. It doesn't. <laughs> Did I? I think I left my World of Tanks delay on. You did. Dang it. <laughs> I, I thought for sure I, I had remembered to take that off this time. Um, although, one of the things I was going to bring up since I put, uh, you know, that part of the title is uh, Casual Chats and Glass Floors. Uh, <laughs> I've actually been thinking about putting a hold on the World of Tanks streaming for now. I'll still play. Uh, you know, I'll still get on Friday nights to play with uh, Fart Rock and Hordes of Locust, but I'm probably going to hold off on the streams and some of that end of things just, just for a little bit, because uh, it's taking away a little too much attention from this and games revisited and it's not returning enough of a yield to make it feel like a worthwhile investment if that makes sense does that make sense i'm struggling to wrap my head around that one but you know um it's an easy it's okay it's not taking time away in the sense that it's hard to produce because it's really easy. I play, I upload at the end, done. Like, it is very much uh, live to tape. Well, I say live to tape. Tape hasn't been used in live for some time, but you get the idea. <laughs> it, it, it's very simple. It's been a live to tape stream, but uh, that has seemed 
insufficient for what it needs to be to actually be a useful part of the community. And I don't want to be one of those guys just streaming for the sake of streaming. If it's not contributing something by demonstrating some gameplay, uh, let me rephrase that. No, demonstrating some straight gameplay. Dem demonstrating some gameplay worth watching for any particular purpose. Yeah, um, what not to do? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely have the what not to do. You know, <laughs> like no, a good I monkey play basket, but yeah. Um, so I'm not really, uh, I'm not contributing in the way I wanted to, and I could, but I'm not sure that it's worth the level of work compared to, uh, coffee craft and games revisited where I think I can provide a better return on investment for time, time and effort. Um, Especially once I start actually following through on my threat to produce videos in Coffee Craft. Um, well, if that's going to take away one of your days to stream, does that mean that you're going to stream one of these other games more frequently? Uh, it's going to be a little more for production and planning than streaming. Okay. Because while, while uh, the World of Tanks stream has not taken a lot in the way of prep or publishing, it's taking away from time that I could use towards planning and prep for both of those other streams. Now, it may come back again a little bit later once I get a better handle on scheduling and show production and that sort of thing so it, it's not like gone forever um, just gone for now hmm, understood uh, I am still going to play because it is kind of nice way to de-stress lopping some uh, HE rounds via artillery yeah delivering that long distance hello Hello, your back is showing. Uh, <laughs> hmm. But at least that, that was one of the, that was one of the ideas that I was tossing around. I, I may not carry through on it. I may go ahead and continue as as I have been. But I've been at the end of the day. It is your decision. Um, but as far as opinions go, I. There. can't say that uh, it's that big of an issue either direction. Um, you tend to try and lean towards teaching moments, and even while sitting here digging my floor out for me, you've already been teaching people that you should always take uh, ender pearls around with you. Um, well, yeah, I, but... Uh, that... that. That is something that I picked up from Isco and watching his <laughs> videos and streams. There have been too many times where I've been like, huh, that's, that's a lot more convenient than I was expecting. Uh. <laughs> I do not have... I'm going to have to go find me a villager that will give me some uh, glowstone. Ooh. Because uh, I'm thinking. Here's an idea. Rip the black uh, concrete off of there. Put glowstone in behind one block back and then recover that in black glass. Okay. Uh, how much glowstone do you need? Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. If it works there, I'll do it again on the bottle. So we're looking at uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here, there's two, a stack two and stacks. A stack and a half. <laughs> Boop. Oh, hey. You have glass. Oh, cool. Hang on. Boop. Boop. There we go. Then if you need more, let me know. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by... Uh, 
<laughs> Hopefully by the time we do our next stream, I'll be able to at least start work on our villager trading center, if not already be in the process of working on it. No, you're already working on it. Yeah, I am. As soon as I upgrade to 1.14.4. <laughs> no, I oh. mean, right here. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're planning on setting up your own little trading center down here, aren't you? No, this is for everyone. Well, your own is in the one that you built, not your own is in just for you. He's mine. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know. <laughs> Could go all in full on and be like, oh, no, you have to, you have to buy a season pass there, buddy. Buy a season can't come pass. <laughs> And then midway through the season, change the rules so you have to buy another one. Yeah. Except he, he backed off on the... Well, he never <laughs> said you had to buy another. Just the books were going to cost a little. A little something extra. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Oh, boy. I'm going to have to... Serious? What'd you fall? Yeah, and every time I tried to end a pearl out, I've been ending up uh, back in the same hole. <laughs> like, you want me to come give you some scaffolding? That kind of, that kind of defeats the purpose here. Is that not working out? No, I... Being a goofball, I put my crafting table oh. on. <laughs> I'll move some of this over to the glass area at least. Because uh, I, I have a funny feeling that we... We should be able to knock this out today. Uh, okay, okay. Maybe, maybe, not, maybe not in the two hours of the stream. Uh, maybe once I, the insomnia really kicks in and I can't sleep. Uh. scroll wheel's been doing that too. Every now and again it'll scroll just one block past where I wanted to go, so I'm trying to open up a glass pane instead of a chest. Last I checked that doesn't work out so well. That sounds like such a pain. Oh. Wah wah. <laughs> I had to, I'm sorry. You had to. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, man. Yabba yeah, made me do it. I'm sure he did. I'm sure he did. over by the uh, mob farm now to see if any if uh, what kind of production rates it generates mm. do you, you want an honest answer <laughs> you haven't had a chance to yeah, no actually I just forgot <laughs> <laughs> you forgot that you had to complete a mob farm 
to make the rockets that you've been uh, bemoaning the inability to make? Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty much what I'm saying. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, <laughs> I, I I see we have a. Uh, <laughs> well, you could always do that too. Just uh, trade in your gold white glass with lava behind, it, or yellow glass with lava behind it. That'll give you your lighting and your. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm no, thinking that's the wrong kind of lighting. <laughs> that's the wrong kind of lighting. I don't know. As long as you don't break the glass. Hmm. Was that the wall that had all the? I thought I thought it was the one that Navi was on that had the giant lava lake behind it. Yeah, uh, no, it's this corner. Oh, it's the okay. Yeah, it's this entire corner. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I, I just remember working on that back corner where uh, Navi was, and there being a giant lava lake behind there, and it being more than a marginal pain, and that also being where I got a lot of my obsidian from. Mm. Uh, that's a good place to get. Yeah, because I, I was really not wanting to die in lava since I was working alone, and... Uh, <laughs> And so I just threw down a water source at the top of the uh, the area I was working on, and just mined away the obsidian instead. Yeah, two birds, one stone. Waste not, want not. All that good fun stuff. That's one of the other things I gotta make sure I look up some designs on is uh, get a uh, new iron farm design for us. That is not ideal. What? A new iron farm design? No. The there's a hole here. Um, the glowstone. No. Okay, hang on. Let me uh, get out of this hole I've found myself in. Physically, as well as metaphorically. Yeah, no. The the black glass isn't dark enough. No, it's... It's a little too clear. The word I want, it blurs the line. Yeah. That's what I was thinking about. Do the glowstone and yellow glass for uh, maybe the for the corners of the Triforce. So, like, pop out there, there, and there on... Not that one. The one above it. <laughs> Better put that gold back, sir. I'm watching you. It's not gold, sir. Give it another thousand years. Oh, wait, no. That would have been diamond. <laughs> I could make it out of diamond. I have enough. I, I, I actually thought about paying off uh, promising somebody some diamonds and just having it a uh, bits of coal renamed future diamond. <laughs> But yeah, that way the yellow of the glowstone will match with the yellow of the glass and maybe it'll get close enough to uh, the Triforce. And maybe the corners might be a bit too much in that regard. Um, try to get one or two in a spot on the Triforce to make it look like the light shining off. Like where you'd normally have a reflected light. to ponder. <laughs> yep. So I'm good at the pondering. Is they actually doing something afterwards that, you know, is still a bit of a struggle. Uh, 
that's been a big part of it. When I was, uh, those watching on the stream will probably notice that my lighting is looking a little bit better than it has in the past. Finally got, a. Uh, Instead of worrying about trying to find the perfect lighting setup, I went and got something cheap enough to manage for now. That at least improved the situation, although uh, the color temperature is still looking a little brighter than it did yesterday when I was trying to get all the lights set up for today. So I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. I don't know what light is on that wasn't on the last time or what light's not on that was on the last time. Um, but something definitely looks different than when I was doing the setup. And at least in my preview, I can't really tell on the, the stream replay that I've got going next to the mixer preview. Um, sorry. I got myself kind of lost in a hole. Um, Holes happen. Yeah, especially when you're digging them. I mean, that is the whole that purpose the whole. of what I'm doing. <laughs> and that just happened. Yep. <laughs> that just happened. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. I don't know. I just lost my train of thought again. Which has been happening a lot. Or at least a little more frequently than it was in the past. Like the distant past? The near present past? The, <laughs> the near present past? I, I, I think that covers uh, <laughs> most options. <laughs> at least most options, options that aren't the future. Ah, ah. Got my three button boxes. That'll be a fun project. Oh yeah, that's right, because you want to go around to the, uh, all around the nether fortress. Mm-hmm. 120 blocks. Mm. In a sphere. Have fun with that one. There's a great many grindy projects I will help you with, but, uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> you say that. You'll yeah, be there. I, I say that now, but I, I'll probably go, <laughs> man. I just, I just need something to do that doesn't require much thinking. And you're gonna go. Here's a box of buttons. <laughs> Here, you take one box and go that way. I'll take this box and go this way. Yeah. And uh, you, you, rest. I'll stare at the box and then laugh at me and leave. Yeah, yeah that's about it too. That's right, she's got her uh, big work project today. I know she was hoping yeah. she could join, but life and work. And work life. Such is life. Yeah. I'm trying to get a decent balance between the two. I feel like I missed something. That's what we'll do. Next time Reyes is available. Go walk around. Tell us the ones that we missed. <laughs> that is the peril of doing a project like this uh, for many hours continuously. It, is you kind of lose track of the work. Yeah, I was going to ask you once you were done with the floor, or close to done with the floor, to uh, walk around and make sure I put iron bars on everything. <laughs> yeah. It is. Well, I haven't fallen in any holes yet, so I mean, that's that's always a positive sign here. Yeah, yeah, that, that was the second thing I was worried about, is missing glass panes here and there. But I, I've tried to make sure I do it in small enough patches that I'll notice... Just by virtue of keeping the uh, area I'm working in as small as I am. I'm just happy I finally got rid of that those slime chunks. I mean, as much as I was loving getting the slime and using them to uh, repair my tools while I was working. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I really wasn't enjoying constantly stopping to go, hey, leave me alone. Hey, no, 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 leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go away. <laughs> You're not they are, You're the definitely alone. good for that. Or that one time that I thought I was safe on top of the building the villager was in. And some slime had apparently knocked me off and pushed me into a corner and nudged me to death. <laughs> to be fair, the big slimes hit really hard. Well, I mean, relatively. I mean, the little guys are nothing. Well, if you died to a little one, you, you deserve that. Since I don't think they do any damage. Um... Uh... They, uh, I don't know. I'd have to double check. I'm pretty sure they do do some damage. The problem is that when we usually run into them, we've got enough armor that it isn't a difference. And if it is a difference, then we obviously don't have enough armor. Um. <laughs> Speaking of... Or I forget again. Let me go find these uh, mythical ender pearls. Oh, they're there. I, 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 I grabbed some, so they're <laughs> there. I know they're there. My glass, glowstone, melons, stone. Not stone, but close enough. Oh, there we go. Bam. Yeah, we got to get a proper ender farm going, too. Like a real one, not a, not a little canopy where you got to go beat at them with a stick like a... Come on, that's perfectly legit strategy. Yeah, to start off with. I want a place where you stand and the ender pearls just, you know, rain in. I actually thought about building that, uh, Wither Rose farm that we saw. But, uh, I don't know. That, that, that's a lot of work for, I'm not sure we're gonna even use enough Wither Roses to make them worthwhile. Dude, that's, that's black, uh, black dye. Black dye. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, it's another nothing nice else. <laughs> and it's another nice way to make some mob farms. Uh, there we go. I thought there might be one more. Some of these little bits under the. Uh, Bedrock get rather interesting to find. It gets the point across. It's just not as pretty as the gold. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I wasn't even talking about the whole thing. Because, yeah, no, that's not... That's not the same either. Where's, uh... That's, uh... Come on. Not the scaffolding. Here, I'm just gonna grab one, two, maybe. Th oh! <laughs> scaffolding 101. I do not like that you can't actually hold shift on scaffolding. Not without it doing weird stuff to you. Yeah, you get about halfway down, which uh, I was always worried that you would end up falling all the way down. No, but it just it it just feels weird. Alright. Let me go grab one of these guys down here. I was thinking either do of course. It's only after I started poking in there that I started thinking, you know, there might be lava behind one of those. Uh, did you grab the other gold block? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
do like a spot off the side, maybe not quite at the edge like that. Um, but the idea is have a shiny spot on each one where it looks like the light shining down on that spot. Yeah, you know, like you see the shiny spot, bald spot on my head where you tell that light is shining down on it. Or do do one in each corner to 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 get a little more symmetry out of the design. Oh, climb the scaffolding. Yeah, so something like that. Yeah, I don't know if one square, two or four would make the the right shading. That that's gonna be something I have to play with in a minute. But that would that would be something worth playing playing with. I just toss that gold block up on, on the wall so you don't accuse me of stealing it. Oh jeez, it's like I care. <laughs> I have enough that I, I can make a beacon out of it. What do I care? Yeah. For uh, for a tiny, Although. insignificant gold farm, it does produce a lot of gold. Yeah, I wouldn't mind building just a, a little bit bigger one because what I'd like to do is uh, switch to golden carrots full time all the time. No, I, I don't think and, you can uh, power that kind of uh, production. Yeah, I gotta get my carrot farm fixed first. Although on the flip oh, side, your uh, your little villager here is pretty good for the golden carrots too. And as long as oh, the yeah. melon pumpkin farm pumpkin. keeps cranking out the melons and pumpkins, I may not have to worry about the gold farm to get a uh, gold carrot farm. All I gotta do is keep making what he's buying and <laughs> I'll gladly t trade you some melons for carrots. Hey, can we just make the direct trade like that? No? Okay, fine. Give me the emeralds for this. <laughs> Alright, now All right. take the emeralds back and give me some golden carrots. Show me the carrots. Yeah, if they wanted to make a... Oops. Don't cover that. If they wanted to make a uh, more convenient villager trading system, um, they could just like let you trade the items. That'd be nice. Yeah, I thought about that when they were going through some of the changes that they were trying to do this last go round, and it sounds easy until you start thinking about how to implement that. Like, think of the list of trades that you have right now just for what they will trade for emeralds or what they will buy with emeralds. Now stop and think about what the menu would look like for every combination of everything they might possibly trade one way or the other. The only way to have a sane sized menu would be to reduce the things that they trade just to reduce the combinations of trade um, or have a really, really long scroll list of all the trades you could possibly be doing. Mm. And so, yeah, as much as I love the idea of, uh, or, and this might be bringing it back down into the realm of doable now that I'm talking out loud about it, uh, it might be an idea to filter the list based on what you've accepted like uh, you put some carrots in the trading box and then it goes to everything you can get to you know with some carrots like the default list will be carrots for emeralds but then you got to put the carrots in the box and the list automatically filters down to emeralds and fish and other things you know But I'm not. I'm not sure that that's really that much better. Because again, it feels a little more complex and less intuitive than a, a villager trading system should be. I do like the. I do like the new design for the user interface though instead of having to scroll endless trades it's a lot lot easier i like the the look of it 
has this list. Yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> it, like that, uh, it seems that whatever your primary thing is you've been trading with him lately, it, it seems that it defaults to trying to give you that when you put the diamond, when you put the emeralds in the slot. I don't know if that's an actual thing or if it just happens to be that that's what's popping up every time. But Because that happens to be what you've been trading with them a lot. Mm-hmm. That's getting there. That really is a nice look, though. And I'm pretty sure once we get the... Uh, end islands put together and you get a little more distance that'll really help um, although if you look at the stream you'll notice that I've also got the uh, vanilla tweaks version of the uh, bedrock texture but there is that small difference come on give me the no okay fine Actually, the other thing that that's always fun is uh, going back in options, video settings, shaders. The enhanced default is always nice. As soon as I get around to getting a beefier graphics card, I might start running around with this one just all together. Because it gives the glass a nice little reflective look to it, and it really helps the lighting the lighting pop. Get it all. Yeah, I'm trying to duck my head like that's going to help me look. But, uh, just for kicks. Go to video setting. Shaders. Uh, I know my graphics card does not like the Vibrant Shaders Extreme. Let's go Vibrant Shaders Medium. Oh, my computer's thinking long and hard about that one. Ooh, yeah, no, medium's a bit much. <laughs> Definitely gives it much too much of a uh, yellowish tint. Uh, yeah, now let's go back and video. Readers. Let's just try the vibrant light. I was not expecting that. Gives the glass a much different... Oh, no. Never mind. It was busy trying to load it in. There we go. That's not bad either. I wouldn't want to run around in that all the time. That just... It's a little too much for something like this. I bet it's beautiful during the day though all right let me go back to video shaders and just for kicks i'll finish up the day with the enhanced default that is nice <laughs> i gotta get that on uh i gotta help Reyes to install that maybe when uh optifine for 1.4 or 1.14.4 is out I know they got the preview version, and I will definitely be installing that on my own machine. Um, and while I'm generally bullish on the Optifine pre-releases, because they tend to be a pretty high quality, even in pre-release, I'm not sure I want to do that to her and say, "Oh yeah, go ahead, just just install it, and it, it'll be it'll be all right." Because I. I <laughs> 
Because if it isn't, because you if don't it is paying uh, for it, yeah, exactly. If it isn't, I will never hear the end of it, and I will probably never get her to try it again because it didn't work that one time. <laughs> Go ahead, tell me I'm wrong. I'll wait right here. No, no. This is making it a little bit easier to tell where I've uh, put glass and where I haven't. Maybe I should have been doing this the whole time. It's a little bit of a drain on resources, but it definitely makes it a little clearer. Oh, I saw something falling out of the corner of my eye. I was like, what? What is going? Oh, never mind. You're just dropping scaffolding. <laughs> Getting ready to do stage two of the roof. That's right, because you raided all the purper from all from all them cities. Actually, I only went to four. Oh, so only three of them are pretty small. Only four cities are missing all their blocks. Or did you just take the purper? Uh, well, you know, I don't know what just happened. Okay, I was wondering about that. The server booted me, so I'm not allowed to fly. <laughs> well, you know, you shouldn't be flying. Uh, but <laughs> why I thought you were, I don't know. <laughs> eh, eh, scaffolding. Uh, I've had some weirdness with that, but that the last time that was the result of the boats and getting a really weird bit of laggishness. Related to uh, getting in and out of boats. I can't remember if that's one of the things that uh, people have been claiming has been fixed in 1.14.4 or not. Mm. I know I've seen a couple of videos where they've had to log themselves out and then log back in to solve the boat problem. But I don't know if they were on dot .4 or if they were still on dot .3 at the time. A lot of stuff is kind of running together. It can't help you. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, fine. I didn't want that bit of glass anyway. not bad. I don't know if you want it at the edge or if you want it a little bit closer to the... That is the right idea, though. What's that? With the the glowstone on yellow glass, that, that well, I'm trying to figure out where the sun is, and based on the two blocks you placed, I put the sun being yeah. Brown. I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me pointing at my screen. <laughs> no, no, don't. I, <laughs> no, no, don't go just by that placement. That was more to get the idea across than it was to say just like this. No, I get that, but I was using that as a basis for, okay, if that's the sun coming in and that's the light that we're yeah. looking at, yeah. then it's these two and this one, and that's that's how I figured that out, so. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that makes sense. I'm almost at the point where I'm about ready to raid my gunpowder supplies and just blow away all the... <laughs> like just, just start stuffing dynamite everywhere. I've thought about it. <laughs> well, you do that with your own dynamite supply. I don't have a dynamite supply. Well, because you have an AFK at your new farm. 
No, because Rhea steals every ounce of dynamite I come across. Well, with good reason. I mean, she still hasn't forgiven you for that one time. One time, man. <laughs> yeah, it's funny how things that just happened that one time keep coming back. Like <laughs> dropping a weapon or something. Hey, hey, hey. That's not my fault you botched your roll. Now, for those in the audience who don't know, uh, we, we've we from time to time had a regular, is it a regular irregular or irregularly regular gaming group? Uh, not sure which of those descriptions fits best, but a, a group of, <laughs> group of friends that get together to play some D&D and um, in a combat encounter, I botched. Which means you roll a one on a twenty-sided die. So, you know, do the math on the odds. It's not an actually one in twenty chance. The the odds are uh, the statistical odds do skew a little funny. I am not enough of a statistician to uh, give you the ins and outs of that. And so I rolled a one. That usually means that you fail in some spectacular way. So I dropped my weapon. And then I went to do another attack and rolled another one. And so he made me drop my next weapon. So I pull my third weapon, which A, the party was surprised. I don't know why they were surprised, but they were surprised that I even had a third weapon to draw. Um, and then I rolled a one and dropped that one too. <laughs> I was going to see if you were going to tell the whole thing or not. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Because no. it's not just the dropping of the one or the two. It's it's the sheer fact that you dropped everything you were holding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so in fine moments in defying the statistics, because seriously, what are the odds of rolling three ones back to back to back? I am sure... I am somebody's math thesis just waiting to happen. Like, like, I bet there's a statistics and probability student out there somewhere who would be dying to work out what are the odds of screwing up such that you roll three consecutive ones in a game. Need anything from the uh, core area? I've got to go get more uh, scaffolding. Uh, no, not at the moment. Appreciate it though. All right. okay. I need to stop putting glass on top of torches though. Definitely got to pick up the pace on this, too. <laughs> so close. So close. Yeah, no. I'm not going for it. more string than that. I guess all my banner projects took up a lot of my string. Yeah. Do you need wool? <laughs> I don't need wool, I need string. Oh, you can get string from wool. Can you? Well, in that case, yeah. I've got tons of string. <laughs> yeah, go break your wool down. One wool is four string. Didn't realize you could revert it back. I thought it was only the one way. That was... Oh, oh, oh. Crap. Go away, Andermite. When I want you, I can't find you. When I don't want you, there you are. Uh, that was one of the data packs we added, remember? No. no, no. I, don't, I don't remember anything. 
uh, apparently. Because <laughs> the yeah. have you ever had one of those days where you wake up but you never really woke up and the whole day's a fog? Mm -hmm. That's been my day today. So yeah, no, I've had those days. But we've had this conversation on not those days too. So about stream, really? No, about the data packs that we have we've got installed. Like uh, you know, using know. charcoal for black ink. You were you were there when the three of us sat down to pick the data packs and go, okay, what are we installing? What are we not installing? What what fits within the idiom that we're trying to create, and what what's a, a stretch too far? Because the uh, the idea was. There was a time that you would use charcoal for dye, so we, you know, we're like, yeah, sure. Do the charcoal for black dye. That's totally fitting. You can absolutely bust down wool for string. Look at my sweaters. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I have more scaffolding than I'll ever know what to do with. You say that now. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm fully aware that I say that this second, and I'll uh, I'll be screaming for more of it here. Yeah. Just just so long as you remember that we had that conversation. Oh well, I I do this every time because scaffolding is one of those things that I just don't bother going to really really hardcore try and find it all in the dark. So oh. I end up picking up about half of what I put down most of the time. Okay, so so it's a little less that you lost it and a little bit more that you didn't bother to pick it up? Well, no. I do run through the area trying to find it, but at the same time, I'm not going to sit there for 20 yeah, minutes it, yeah. running back and forth trying to find I, it. I was, I was going to say, is this running through the area or is this like looking in the fridge? Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> Are we judging me? I didn't say it was anything to do with you. <laughs> For that matter, I've stared at the fridge more than a few times and gone, man. Where did the turkey go? As the turkey is sitting right there in the drawer that I put it in. Yeah, the bottles, though, one that I can't figure out how to light up. I mean, we got the Triforce working. You know, it's just going to be a matter of getting the placement down right. We got Navi looking really nice over there. Uh, it would be nice to find a way to light the wing tips at the top. But there might be some lighting going around the edge anyway. But that, that... What kind of potions were there? Uh... The potions I wanted and the potions I didn't have. Those were the two different potions. Because <laughs> everyone's looked at that and said health potion so far. So yeah. I've been leery to change yeah, it. There, there but the... if I change it to the mana potion, which is blue, I can pretty easily get light in there. You think so? Either that or one of the ultimate potions, the one that does both mana and health, but that's green, yeah. and I don't know if I can put that in there with light. Yeah. I, I kept wanting to say stamina, but I know that's... Now I'm drifting back into Skyrim territory. Yeah. I think it was just called a green potion. <laughs> uh, of course, you got to remember, too, the last... I never actually played the one with Navi. Um... You sacrilegious! I, I I can't talk to you anymore. But the the last one I played was uh, what, what was the first one for the Super Nintendo? <laughs> that one. That, that was the last Legend of Zelda that I played. I played Link, the two. Link I played the, the two that were on the original yeah. Nintendo, and yeah, I think it was a Link to the Past. That's 
That's one that that infamous is dangerous to go alone. Here, take this. That's in like a lot of them. <laughs> um, by far, in my opinion, Ocarina of Time is the best Zelda game ever created. And the fact that you haven't played it is is mind-bogglingly uh, disturbing to me on a on a fundamental level. You need to fix that. In fact, I, I have a uh, emulator. I'm going to hand you. In. Uh, so, so what I'm hearing is a suggestion for the next games revisited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, totally. Because I've actually uh, there's a couple of old. Uh, NES games that I've been thinking about doing. <laughs> nice. Okay. So gra grabbing grabbing an NES emulator and and playing some of the old NES games as a part of games revisited. And then to anybody out there that is a lawful mindset, I actually own. I have the cartridges. Yeah. 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 I own no, no, the no. game, so having the emulator doesn't mean anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Per, <laughs> it has been ruled that it is legal to play the emulation if you have the actual game cartridge because all you're doing is format shifting what you have legally bought so that's an idea maybe I should do a, a speed run of Ocarina of Time No, because I would I would die in the water temple. <laughs> that bad, huh? The hardest part of the game, in my opinion, is the water temple. The puzzles there are of such a quality that going from where you went from to the water temple, it's just this ice bucket in your face kind of shock at how much harder everything got and then you get relaxed off for a while and then you know you go to a different one and it's kind of hard again but not as hard it, it's different at this point because you've gotten more tools and more things and more options while back in the water temple you really are limited to a very small set of things that you can do and trying to figure out some of these puzzles back then is like what in the world am I supposed to do right now? How do I do this? Yeah. Yeah, you, you kill the chicken and let him solve your problem for it. Or, <laughs> <laughs> Although I think some of my best uh, or one of my, one of my favorite uh, skits was one that College Humor did, where if you had a portal gun in various Nintendo games... Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you got, if you had a portal gun in Mario, if you had a portal gun in Zelda, if you had... A, and, and yeah, it, it's... If you haven't seen that out there, go, go look that up. I'm 98% sure that was College Humor that did that. If it wasn't College Humor, it was uh, Dorkly, ah. which I think yeah. is owned by College yeah. Humor. That's definitely in the same ballpark. I'd go look it up and show it right now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't want to get a takedown for playing somebody else's video, even if it is in the interest <laughs> of reporting. If they really want to see a thing, go find it. I got too many torches in my inventory. We spam a few more. You know, there's like stacks of them in the box right next to you. Yeah.
Make sure I do that with the right pick in hand. Because <laughs> that would be sad. Nintendo games that I was thinking about doing was Crystallis or Crystallis. I'm not. I've never. I was never sure how it was pronounced. Dallas, which uh, what was that? Uh, <laughs> that's one from back in the day for the uh, for the original Nintendo. And you started off, started basically off. there were, uh, it's a post-apocalyptic future, you, there are four swords that channel, uh, elemental powers, and the Crystalla sword is the ultimate sword, and it combines all four of them together. It's got some of the, uh, the typical bad dub English <laughs> in the various <laughs> that's, texts. That's the best kind. I mean, it's not quite all your base or belong to us, but uh, it's definitely of that generation. Uh, <laughs> kind of like, kind of like some of the uh, user manuals I've run across here. I don't know. I mean, it sounds a lot like. Uh, it sounds interesting. Don't get me wrong, but I, I get a really uh, one ring to rule them all kind of vibe. Uh, no. No, very much no. It, it is definitely its own world. It is definitely very unique. And that is very definitely Redstone. I love Redstone. <laughs> I told you, there is... There are so many resources here. Didn't you find diamonds down there one time? Yeah. Yeah, over the weekend I found a couple of diamonds under... Just chilling under some bedrock somewhere. Uh, I mean, they've got to spawn into that chunk somewhere. Yeah. It's the stuff that's been a little hard to reach that I get kind of frustrated about. <laughs> eh, just get a trap door. Yeah. I thought about that too. That's a little more work than I'm willing to put in. Oh, at least for some coal. Yeah, you know, it's coal. I'll go cook a tree or something. Tree farm is one of the ones that I got to get on building too, because I know I've talked yeah. about that on the live stream a couple of times, and I know we're gonna need. I know I'm gonna need it for at least one of my projects, and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna need it too. So. I, I always need more tree, mostly because yeah. I need black ink. But oh yeah, because you've been really digging into that charcoal as black ink. Um, for the most part, I still have to do a lot of squid hunting because there's a lot of recipes that you actually have to have the ink for. Um, if the double, double check those because I've, I've double, double check some of those because I I have updated the uh, I. The last go round, I did some. I checked to make sure the data packs were current and up to date. So I'll try it again, but last time I tried to read dye glass with black, uh, with uh, charcoal, it, it yeah. wouldn't let me do it. So. Uh, I mean, going from a plain glass to regular to black glass was fine, but yeah. attempting to do it from. And that might be something I need to contact the Vanilla Tweaks folks and say, "Get a hey, uh, these don't these don't mesh right." But I, I also don't know on their end if there even is a way to tell, like, use this recipe if it's <laughs> if this other thing is installed or to make one dependent on the other. I'm pretty sure you shouldn't force it to be dependent. Or, you know, I don't know if Minecraft has the notion of conditional dependency. <laughs> what? I don't know, that just sounds weird. Oh, 
Well, no, there, there's a lot of things in programming that you can set it up so that way it's if you have this resource, then also add all these extra things. But I don't know if the data pack system has that. Um, one of the things I definitely need to look into if I want to actually do the uh, coffee brewing data pack like I'd originally outlined a little while ago. Uh, with life being what it is, I haven't exactly had a chance to do more than plan that. Of course, a lot of it was waiting on uh, 1.4... No, 1.14 to come out. Yeah, it was before 1.14 was final before... And there were, there were the various bugs, and it's like, uh, let's wait and see how this shakes out first. Eh, you know, why do today what you can do tomorrow? Why put off till today what you can never do altogether? <laughs> but uh, it, it is it is on the to-do list still. Because I want to see if there's a way to um, create a bush similar to the sweet berry. Get the uh, same kind of growth mechanic. Growth stages. But instead of sweet berries, it will produce coffee beans. And um, then you can use the coffee beans to make coffee. Use the potion brewing system to get that going. And actually have the coffee provide you different effects depending on what type of coffee you brewed and how you mix it up. Like, you can add sugar and cream to it if you want your coffee wrong, but... Um, <laughs> that would be the one time Rest would want a cow farm. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And that would also be when we would both see our uh, sugarcane farms get plundered. Yeah, and you know what? For as low, as relatively low production as my sugarcane farm has been, I've got more shulker boxes of sugarcane than I know what to do with at the moment. <laughs> that would change quickly. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and to be fair, I haven't built the uh, potion brewing machine that I've been wanting to do. Although I don't know that any of the potions that I would set up in that require sugar. Uh, I'm trying to remember what potions require haste. Yeah. <coughs> haste. Sorry. And I, I don't really use the haste potion. Because I was definitely going to set up like uh, the fire resistance as a one <laughs> one button like I need a batch of fire resistant potions push a button because um, when I do extended work in the nether I definitely keep a couple of those handy and that's one that I'd want on tap maybe a water breathing potion have that on constant tap like one button access Yeah, is it that hooks up back there? Yeah, let's try our luck. Oh, that was almost bad. I said my luck. I think I have finally figured a better way to scaffold quicker. Yeah? Yep. Do I dare ask? No. No, you don't. It's safer. Because <laughs> I don't know that it actually works. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Scaffolding. I almost want to stop so I can watch, but so close to being done.
this last little patch. We get about a half hour left of the stream. I might be able to get that done in half an hour. That would be very satisfying to have that finished by the end of the stream. I'd almost be willing to go extra to make that happen. Except I am trying to keep things a reasonable time length too. Mm. Yeah. I always get back to grinding it out next time. Just finish between sessions. Yeah. Can finish it between sessions. Uh, I definitely want to. The next grindy project I work on is going to be the mountain. Mm. Well, I've got lots of stone to hand you. Yep. Uh, I'm taking some of it with me, too. Reminds me. I need to... Oh, holy mother of inventory, Batman. Yeah, let's empty some of this. Go. I have all the scaffolding in place for part two. Stack of that handy just in case. Boom. So about how far off of this glass floor are you planning on putting the uh, end islands? Or are you just going to put it at this level so it's easy to go from the uh, door to the islands? And then just build some faux bridges. Well, the faux bridge is coming straight from that gateway door there to the first island. And then from it's going to have a couple of other branches leading off from it. That's, that's how it looks in my head. Again, I haven't, uh, I have not done any kind of uh, creative world blueprint yet. So, okay. Keep it on my pickaxe too to make sure that lasts the whole session too. Because I do not want to have to start off. Well, hello, and in, in today's live stream, we rebuild that really awesome pickaxe that we had. But, uh... <laughs> do you need to borrow a pickaxe? Because I have, like, five million. Oh, no, I've got more in a box somewhere. Uh, somewhere. Just remembering where that somewhere is that, uh, is the trick. Get myself stuck again. Okay. There we go. Go, go, gadget, ender pearl. <laughs> Let's fill in our divots. Because we do not want to fall into that hole again. Alright, that should be... Oh, almost all of it. Now we go. Yeah, that's looking nice. So speaking of games revisited, you are currently playing... Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, in part because somebody recommended it to me, in part because Steam had it on sale for dirt cheap. And it was uh, 
partway through playing the game that I got the idea for the whole series. I was pretty sure I wasn't the only one who had never seen or played it before that really ought to, uh, really ought to see it. Cool, cool. Where are you at in the game right now? It's been a long time since I played, so... Yeah, I am finishing up, um, Tatooine. So I Seems simple. So I got a new person in chat. Hello, anime oh, awesome. lover zero. But uh, yeah, so for games revisited on Thursdays, uh, playing Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. I am playing a Jedi Sentinel, doing a rather thorough run through. I, I wouldn't, it's not the slow run, but it's definitely not a fast run or a speed run by any stretch of the imagination. And, uh, trying to get a good feel for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to class and do the work. Yeah, what you studying? Depending on what you're studying, it may be, uh, easier than that. <laughs> keep forgetting that I forgot to uh, turn off the delay when I started this too. I gotta, I gotta remember that. What with the natural delay that Twitch puts on? I'm, I, I don't even bother putting a delay on my stream anymore, even if I'm doing a competitive yeah. game. I mean, any data they get is already, you know, two to five seconds behind it anyway. Uh, I thought about that. I really did. Uh, I probably ought to check the Twitch guidelines, but don't forget, I also rebroadcast this on Mixer as well. So I'm simultaneously going out to Twitch and Mixer, and while Twitch will automatically do a stream delay, uh, Mixer does not. Unless that's changed and I haven't noticed. Hmm. Well, nice to meet you, Ryan. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. We're just uh, working on my giant hole. <laughs> I get all this glass in. I keep getting stuck. There we go. I've even thought about bringing the entrance tunnel oh. up a couple of blocks. Um, hmm. I'm sorry, anime lover. I don't... I'm not placing the Ryan. I need a little more context. Um, and I'm going to need a little more black glass, too. Uh, there should be some in a box down there. I just made. Beyond that, I'm gonna have to go kill squid or something. I'm out of uh, black yeah. ink. No charcoal? Nope, out of that too. Out of that too? Oh. Yeah, I spent my last few days trying to find my way back from the uh, end. Um. Oh, okay. Now I'm tracking. Now I'm tracking. Sorry, I, I completely forgot that we were talking about that. Uh, uh, different streams. And, and I wasn't quite placing the... Uh, placing that this was the discussion we were having on the Games Revisited stream. Uh, Short-term memory something or other. I apologize about that. Yeah, so... Uh, this is one of the other streams I do with Arcadius. We are on the CoffeeCraft server. It is uh, inspired by, mine, by uh, Hermitcraft. 
we are closed right now so it's limited to just the three founding members we're probably going to open it up to a couple of friends when we uh, move on to season one but that's after we get like in case you have noticed we're still struggling with getting some of the streaming stuff set up so once we get all the streaming stuff settled in uh we'll probably launch a formal season one with a couple other couple other friends that uh we know will stick to the ethos we're trying to create which basically just means that they drink coffee and put down blocks and the nice kind of pranks not the other kind of pranks so not the ones I do is, is yeah. what I'm <laughs> I mean if the shoe fits it's just that one time and you didn't oh, even get hit by again with just again with just that one time <laughs> <laughs> anyway so I hope classes are going pretty good anime lover Speaking of one day at a time, that would be the definition of uh, coursework. Yeah, that is college in a nutshell. That naps in the lobby. But that might have been because I was working 40 hours a week at the same time. Yeah, the most important part is definitely showing up. The rest gets easier. So they keep saying that about streaming too, and some days I wonder. Uh, one of the uh, Minecrafters I watch fairly frequently, Ren Dog, or Ren the Dog. I can't remember what his actual handful his official handle is because. There's usually a couple of variants that he jokingly goes by. Uh, and one of the uh, stream days they did went through his travel. How he got from where he was to where he is now. And it is, uh, it is definitely quite the story to hear. Gives me hope that this might, uh, this might turn into something halfway decent between now and then. Yeah, I'm leaning my head like I can actually see under the rock if I, you know, move my head, <laughs> not my character's head. <laughs> I can't count how many times I've done that. What, where you start leaning and looking? Is, yeah. is that like when you're playing games and you got the video controller and you start leaning the controller? Yeah. Except now they have controllers that do that. Especially like racing games or something. It's like, oh, bank, bank. Of course, I'm joking about that, and that kind of shows my age. But then again, I was talking about using a classic NES game for Games Revisited that I remembered playing back in... Yeah, uh, <laughs> that, that, that'll get you cranky in a heartbeat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some days. Some days. All right. Keep trying to do this in strips of three, but... uh not always working out so well and eh, just rip it all up <laughs> well no it's I, by being systematic it's so that way I can tell where I've been and I don't leave stuff floating under the ground because there's been a couple of times that I've been moving from one spot to another to double check work and there's this huge patch of diorite just sitting down under a block somewhere and I have no idea which one of us missed it but it it's equally frustrating to find and have to clear out Either way. Oh boy. I completely underestimated how much purple I needed. <laughs> I ripped down an entire city and yep. still don't have enough. You said an entire four cities, if I remember right. Can we uh, rewind the stream and go back to that? <laughs> I don't know anymore. I looted four cities. I oh, only ripped okay. one all the way down. Ah, uh, okay. You know, this whole storage capacity thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you make shulker boxes as you go. Somebody's also <laughs> bragging about all that space they have in their ender chest. I do. I have lots of room in my ender chest. 
Yeah, I, I don't. I'm not even gonna pretend. I totally don't. You gotta have room for when you have that idea pop in your head and you wanna go build it. You gotta have room to actually put the stuff in there to take with you to go build it. See, that that's where I would actually argue you need the stuff in your ender chest to actually go and do that idea. And you can't do it if the chest is empty. And see... <laughs> <laughs> that is <laughs> uh, if it's empty you have nothing with which to build H how will you build if you have nothing with which to build and here we go <laughs> and those you see the difference in our play styles what's sad is you actually have a storage room and I don't so <laughs> yeah I do and yet you still carry everything with you instead of just having oh. it organized so you can quickly grab it. Well, yes, because usually when I need it, I'm not anywhere near the storage system. <laughs> so the storage system is more, you know, a place where I go to restock. Mm. Oh, man. Good fun. Good fun. But getting back to uh, as much as as much as I'm planning for the next season of Games Revisited, I know I am nowhere near close to done because we got ten episodes of roughly three hours apiece. I know there's a couple I went shorter and a couple I went longer, so that's averaging them out. Uh, but you're right around the holiday season of going into a game. Yeah. Probably a good idea to have an idea of which one you're going to do. Well, and, and that's why I'm kind of thinking about it now, but I'm not putting a whole lot a whole lot into it. Um, I'd like to do Crystallis, uh, or I might pick a shorter game, one that doesn't have such a long turnaround time to finish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lost Vikings! No. Uh, yeah, Lost Vikings. I could, actually, I could probably do that whole game in a single uh, single setting. That'd be funny. I haven't played that in forever. Okay, let me rephrase that. After I got my reflexes back, I could probably oh. do that in a whole <laughs> setting. Because <laughs> I do I do remember playing that in a single in a single run. But that was when I was playing console games all the time. And so my controller reflexes were a lot better than they are right now. Because the last console I played with any regularity was the Super Nintendo. <laughs> Your age is showing. That, that, was, that was the last one I owned. <laughs> um, I could also go for Bonk's Adventure and Bonk's Revenge, if anybody actually remembers those games. But the, they were for the uh, TurboGrafx-16 one of the competitors of the of the NES and arguably it was well ahead of its time like long before long before any other game company was doing it the cartridges for the um, TurboGrafx-16 were uh, an early predecessor of your basic memory card like your SD memory card type and one of the cool advantages of the TurboGrafx-16 was that the handheld version used the exact same memory cards as the full-size console. You know, it had a couple of games that were kind of popular. It had a couple of games that achieved some level of notoriety. And that is a diamond. How do I get to you, good sir? Uh... There we go. That's my way down. <laughs> okay, sorry. Diamonds. <laughs> All right. How do I get out? Is that through there? Close enough. Okay. Um, 
So yeah, it, it was a fun game. I just, I remember the day that mom got me Bonk's Revenge for, I think it was my birthday. It, it was either my birthday or Christmas, and I'm reasonably certain it was my birthday, and I sat down and beat the thing in a single six-ish hour sitting and she was so mad <laughs> like but but the the box said 40 hours of gameplay <laughs> 40 wow. 40 hours for whom uh, <laughs> like, oh don't worry i'm gonna beat it again that, that was kind of fun i want to see if i can beat my score the next time <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she didn't like that answer either. I think that was the last one of that style game I ever ended up getting. At any reason or another. There we go. I think the Xbox was the last console I owned. <laughs> yeah, but you also played console games for a lot longer, too. Yeah, no, I was I was still playing console even after college. I mean, what else do you do as a, a medic when you need to burn stress? <laughs> you play video yeah, games? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure the hospital wasn't going to let you put Doom on the computer. <laughs> No, no. Actually, my uh, my go-to uh, Halo. I used to love some Halo. Yeah, I play. Hey, I played Halo was one Xbox on... 360. Because I think yeah. I was playing Halo Two, and I think that was on 360. Uh, it might have been on both. I want to say that was somewhere in the time that it overlapped. Because I remember, yeah. I remember that was also the same time. That was the last Halo game that was released for both the Xbox and the PC. Yeah, and that's when I stopped playing any kind of Halo because I was only playing the PC versions. Um, yeah. But it was no, around. That's when I switched to PC. So if that was the last, that's what I was playing. Uh, doggone it. We're not going to be able to finish this. We're out of black glass. And I'm out of burper, so... Yeah, we're completely, uh... Stuck. <laughs> oh. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Yep. Oh, I'm still going to finish this tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Let, let me see if I get... Uh, let's see. Uh... I have glass. Random I don't have project black, box so. two. Random project box one. That's uh, assorted lawn stuff, seeds, trees, and saplings, rails, tools, combat and armor. Um, oh, that's right. We can use coal as well as charcoal, right? Uh, no, just, just charcoal. charcoal. Just charcoal. Okay, I thought it was coal and charcoal. Ish. If that were the case, I've got a ton of black glass at the house. <laughs> oh. Okay, never mind, because I have coal, just not charcoal. Alright. Alright, let's drop that in there then, and uh... So, hopefully... Next stream, we'll be able to come in here and this last little bit will be cleared out and glassed over. Um, you know what? I can't shake the feeling, but I, I, I'm pretty sure I've got some uh, charcoal over at my base, which is like right around the corner. So g give me just a second. I'll be right back. Um, I hate leaving a project that close to finished. Like, if there was a lot left, that would be one thing. Because, you know, okay, there, there's a lot to... There's a lot to do. But that close? To be that close? Oh, without falling. Okay. Yeah, but we're not really that close. We still have the wall ceiling. <clears throat> ah, I'm just talking about the part that I was working on. Getting the glass floor in place. 
Are those my... Oh, no, those are my flight duration too. And I probably shouldn't be taking a look at that while flying. That seems like the way to run into a spruce tree. <laughs> that seems less than uh, intelligent. Oh, I do love the shaders, but they are a little bit lagtastic. At least until I upgrade the PC a little bit more. All right. Uh, yes, charcoal. Uh, do I want to bring two stacks? Now bring three. And you said you already got the glass, right? Yeah, I've got glass. And this will give you a chance to test whether or not, uh, excuse me, whether or not the, uh, whether or not the, uh, yeah, I have no idea where I was going with that. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> oh, goodness. Ah! Fly! That was almost bad. Where did I put the Flight Duration 2 rockets? I know I had some on me at one point. But yeah, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about bringing the water up about three blocks and then bringing the entrance in. Like, keep everything the way it is, just move it up three. That way, when the bridge comes in, you're not exactly right on top of the faux floor. Uh, okay, so the bridge will be a block or two above the floor. Yeah, like bring this entire room, this hallway up two blocks. Oh no, you get to hold that. Uh oh. Oh, because you're just going to give me the glass. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I guess we're just uh, switching the lime over to black. That's the idea. A charcoal, right? Yeah. Uh, remind me of the recipe. Yep. Uh, glass around a charcoal. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. Mm -hmm. No, that's the one I was telling you about. That's why you need black uh, ink sacks from Squid. Because while you can dye glass, you cannot change the color of glass with charcoal. Same thing with concrete powder. While you can dye it, you cannot change it. Hmm. I don't know what it is with... Uh... So, you waited until I got all the way there and back here to tell me that it wouldn't work? No, no, you said we needed to test the theory, remember? No, I didn't say anything about testing the theory. I thought for sure it worked. It wasn't a theory. Mm -hmm. You said that we needed to recheck it because it may have gotten fixed in the next update that you just did. So I was letting you test the theory. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, off to kill Squid I go. Uh, what's the, uh, hang on. No, the stream's over. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, no. Where, where'd, the, where'd the glass go? Where'd the glass go? All right, fine. I'll take, you don't want the magenta, do you? No, no not, not really. I mean, I need it for building the in-city stuff, but. Here, here, here's the glass. <laughs> Ball. There. There we go. I'm trying to remember what the uh, recipe was to convert it. It's the die in the middle with glass all the way around it. Is it ice? Yes. Because you can take ice to get dyed glass back to clear glass. 
I did not know that. I have tons of ice. <laughs> Hold up. Don't think I have ice and here. now... I can get all the black stained glass. There we go. Now I got three more stacks of black stained glass. <laughs> <laughs> Is it regular ice or packed ice? Yep, regular ice. Good deal. I'm going to go strip those of their color here in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 there's about 40 more charcoal in there. I keep forgetting that one die will get you eight glass. So I brought in three stacks of charcoal thinking it was going to be a one-to-one. -one. Mm -mm. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I totally, I totally forgot that. See, so you can use a <laughs> charcoal to re-dye glass. You just gotta go through the uh, intermediary step of uh, cleaning it first. Ugh. Hey, hey. You had a problem. I brought a solution. <laughs> that is a cruddy solution. <laughs> oh, you, you act like ice isn't a renewable resource. It's not. I mean, it really isn't. Everybody loves everybody. it. It's easy to find. Yeah, it's that one floating platform we still haven't, uh... <laughs> I know. Decorated. I know. I, I'm really thinking we ought to find a better location for it so it's not standing directly over the rail line. I just don't know where that better direction would be. I vote you have to rebuild it. Okay. Because, yeah, that that's enough redstone that I about ripped my hair out. And honestly, I don't want to look like you for at least another couple of years. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I got news for you, there, good sir. Hey, 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 hey. Those days aren't that far away. <laughs> I see that skin, Yamaka, for me. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Those are fighting words, good sir. <laughs> hey, we've been hanging out around the ice farm long enough that solid ice right are we close enough for that? Uh, that particular base? No. Oh. But somebody's been on that's close enough that it's it's fully formed. Nice. Harvest it. Yeah, the question becomes, do you want me to not re-engage it? That way the water's out? No, no, because that is low on the project list. Well, because we need true. we need the iron farm and the villager trading and the furnace array and the tree farm long before we need to worry about a revamped ice farm. True, but if you just want to rip it down for aesthetic purposes, then the water being out of it makes that job a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We'll get to that in due time. Is it a one-to-one -one for cleaning glass, or is it a nope, one day? Just, just like a regular dye. Uh, basically, the ice is the dye for purposes of dyeing it clear. Hmm. Neat. You're just yeah, cleaning it with ice. Goodness gracious. Let me guess, this is information you really could have used a little while ago. Yeah. Like, a long time ago. When did this happen? Like, was this a 14 thing, or is this one of our no, pack No, th this, was, this was always part of the data pack. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I, I could have used this knowledge, like, a decade ago. <laughs> well, it wouldn't have helped a decade ago, because we didn't have the data pack a decade ago. You're going to be grumbling about that one for a little while, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit? Just a bit. Because now I have a couple of pieces of glass that I can't undie. <laughs> oh, because oh. it's not enough to get the full full craft Eight. recipe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I now have two pieces of line dice. Oh. 
I did say dice, not ice. <laughs> and that's not even what I wanted to say. I wanted to say. Yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. I've got D&D on the brain, apparently. Yeah, because, you know, killing your party. Hey, it is a viable pastime, thank you. Hmm? Said every GM everywhere. A meme the other day that I thought was really funny. <laughs> Basically, uh, it talks about when you go to get your oil change from now on, take a monster manual. Oh, because anybody who doesn't play D and D will think that you're some kind of crazy person reading about you know monsters. While people that do play D and D won't bother you either because they think you're so dedicated to trying to kill your party that you're bringing a monster manual with you to get an oil change. <sighs> I want to say they're wrong, but yeah, at the same no. time, the, the, it's, it's not that wrong. <laughs> not that wrong. Ah! Oh... We're serious. Hmm. <laughs> I also need to thank Reyes for adding four serious to my lexicon, too. Dare I ask? Well, she's the one who always says it. We got everybody, everybody around <sighs> saying it. People I would not have expected to go for serious. Like, ah, you've been hanging around Rayest. How did you know? Because you're for serious. <laughs> Isn't that the name of like her blog or something? No. No, no, it was I something don't know else. I, I don't. Uh, I'll let you guys ask her next I, time she's on. I'm also not sure it's ready for uh, public consumption yet. Eh, uh, true enough. Did I, did I underestimate how much black glass I needed yet again? <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I cleaned all this glass off. Yeah. Yeah. I've only got a uh, stack in a bit. And I really think that I've got more than, uh, there we go. Good. I think I've got a little more than a stack's worth of, uh, a little more than what I got in hand to fill in. Words. I sometimes use them. I even occasionally form sentences. I call them coherent, but my English teachers would disagree. Or at least one English teacher I know would disagree. Oh, there's that glass box. Uh, I fell down. You were just here. Oh, <laughs> I was looking around like I was like, <laughs> you go. <laughs> I threw that way too far. <laughs> I meant to. Wow. I meant to hit the uh, the yeah, block the, the torch was on. We see how well that worked out. Nope, before I go. At least having the floor out, I can start thinking about what I'm going to do here, even though I have no bird to work. Well, you know you're going to build some islands. Yep. And I do at least have the instone to start doing that part. Yeah, I was going to say, have you been uh, grabbing all the end brick and all that stuff too? Yeah. 
Mostly, I'm just gonna repurpose my uh, mushroom. Oh yeah, that's right. You did dig a bunch of that up. I'm still trying to figure out where you get all the lime glass from, though. Uh, uh that was to be a, a greenhouse on top of the mushroom island. But again, that oh uh, okay, that entire yeah. project fell through. Yeah, once you get yeah. rid of the mushroom island, it kind of didn't make sense to. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Okay. That was almost bad. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Threw an ender pearl up and hit the ceiling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done that yeah. a couple of times, too. <laughs> and then you start taking fall da You take damage from the ender pearl and then damage again from falling. This is almost done. <laughs> it's not even my project. Thank you for, project, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like for the help, though. I mean, yeah. I mean, done enough work on it. Like, yeah, there's some redstone for you. <clears throat> awesome. Oh. Leaving all this stuff behind. I was beginning to wonder, was my inventory full? Like, I'm pretty sure it's not. Yeah, that's not going to work mm -hmm. out too well either. Oh, goodness. Alright, let's do this without missing spots. Go spend some more time at uh, Rest's uh, Purple Farm. Oh, for more uh, Enderods? No, for the Purple Blocks. Ah. And while I'm there, I can continue my project of trying to figure out what the uh, flower. Uh, what do you call it? What is the word for that? The actual term? Flower map? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Because it would be really nice to have blue dye with <laughs> having to uh, burn my lapis to do it. Yeah. Any more? One, two, no. Oh. That's what we get for Russian. Did we miss him? Uh, no, because you you were rushing and I was happy to oblige. Ended up uh, missing little gaps and holes and stuff. Yeah, like the one over my head here. <laughs> yeah. my head on the camera too like like I can look around the corner <laughs> <sighs> what's with the sleepy time it's safe well, uh, yeah but eventually someone will need to leave and you can tell one night because that <laughs> yeah I, I've seen that ridge at night yeah um, no it's it's not friendly <laughs> Somebody has not gone through and mob proofed their uh, ridge yet. Yeah, I don't know that I will, actually. It's kind of nice. <laughs> what, as a get off my lawn? Like, Yeah, pretty much. It's like, you know, you can, ah! you can visit during daylight hours, but um, don't stay out of black overstay your welcome. Kidding me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, there's a box full of glass here, so. Alright. I jumped right here. Right I put. It. Okay. There's glass. Is killing. So oh, close. You put the charcoal that I already put in there. I think I put in my dye box here. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. I found some more. So 
definitely got around here. We get under there, right? Yeah. Definitely have to come through with Rayest so she can tell us if we uh, missed anything under the glass. Yeah. Maybe oh. I can pay her in light gems or something. That's a bit of just like this. Actually, wood mobs like to wander a lot. Llamas? I can go get some llamas from the surface. Did I seriously still miss another piece? Right there. There we go. Looks like all of this over here needs it. Say over here. Like I'm looking at where you're pointing. Yeah, I know. That's as bad as earlier when I was actually physically pointing at my monitor thinking you could see me. <laughs> and then I do stuff like that and end up putting a piece of glass on top of the glass. <laughs> I mean, that's still better than the alternative of falling through the floor. Yeah, I haven't checked on him today. Is he okay in here? Did you check? No, I have not checked on our trader. He's fine. Displeased. The, uh, <laughs> the first of the new villagers. I'm definitely going to have to uh, visit him to replenish my carrot supply. Yeah, no, I, I'm down to five carrots. <laughs> Yeah, I seem to recall giving somebody a hard time about end rating with cookies. Yeah, well, you know, when you don't have anything else to eat. No, 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 no. You said there was nothing, there was nothing else, else worth eating in the community. I said center. there was nothing of quantity. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, like all those stacks of pumpkin pies that were sitting in there. There were no pumpkin pies there. There were pumpkin pies in there. Where you there want was these no box. Uh, there's a torch box. I think it's on this one here. Yeah, that one there. You don't have room for the torches I've collected. Uh, yeah. The box next to it. <laughs> I'll, I'll just go with the madness that's around here and put them in a random box. Because mm, that's the way cool. you roll. Yeah, that glowstone's yours, by the way. <laughs> Are you not going to use any more of it? I thought you were going to try to work on the uh, Triforce lighting a little bit more. Um, or are you, no, I think it's good for now. Or are you going to change the placement and just use the same amount? I can't hey, imagine using thank more you than for that. The follow Zimmer Tracks. Welcome to the channel. We are double checking a project over here where we went all the way down to bedrock. We're glassing it over. This is a build that Arcadius over there in the shadows is working on, and we're just trying to help him out a little bit. Uh, this is going to become something very interesting in the near future. We just took care of the second hardest part of this project, <laughs> putting in the glass floor. I still think the hardest part was digging this whole thing out. The digging it wasn't that bad. Oh, you, well, yeah, except for, you know, the giant puddle of lava over there. Well, more like a lake of lava. I say puddle. Puddle would make it sound like it was a small bit of lava. It was not a small bit of lava. It was a lot of lava. I think puddle is still a, a, an accurate Uh-uh. I mean, know, we're not talking about I mean. nether lake lakes of lava, but, you know. <laughs> when you say lake of lava, I'm seriously thinking that spot over there next to the uh, fortress we have. <laughs> yeah. Now that I mean, that's more like a lava. Great Lake, but... Yeah, yeah, we can go with Great Lake. But, uh, yeah, that's looking nice, actually. Let's try, to get, try a little more elevation. Now, I do have that uh, texture pack still on that I was playing with earlier. So I'll probably take that off real quick just to get a look at what it's uh, looking like standard. But that, ooh, that is nice. 
All right, let me go back and let me go to the video. Let me turn the shaders off real quick. Because that's how most people are going to see it anyway. All right, those are off. Done, done. Back to the game. Oh, yeah. That still looks good. Uh, especially once we get rid of the light. That will give you that void look that you were going for. And even if you do yeah. see it, it looks kind of like a cloud under the... A void cloud, so to speak. Alright. So we're a little bit, little bit longer than we normally go for the Coffee Craft stream. This was what we basically worked on today, was finishing up that floor down there. And now that that's done, Arcadius can work on the next stage of his project in here. He's the one who's done the uh, 2D artwork. So if you're a fan of The Legend of Zelda, you'll know exactly who that is. You'll know exactly what that is. And you'll know exactly what that is over there. Um, and this is a project we've been helping him with off and on for, for what, quite a bit while he's been working on it. Doing some of the digging, doing some of the, the floor over there. We'll probably be helping build some islands a little bit later, too. <laughs> and, uh... Let's get out of here. Because I've got a couple of... big, grindy projects of my own that I'm trying to work on. That I'll probably work... Since the floor's done, I'll probably return back to one of my own projects. That I mentioned at the start of the stream. We got this uh, railway station running from base to base and I never got around to finish terraforming this mountain over here. Let's see, I was building the stairway up from where my starter base was down there at the cabin and it wasn't quite fitting the terrain that naturally generated as much as I wanted to so I kind of extended out the stairs I've built this bit of mountain over here. So all this bit of mountain on this side of the stairs I put together. I'm probably going to go through and reshape it because I don't like the way some of that's lining up. It looks a little too uh, planned. But I'll do a great reshaping once uh, once I get the ground <laughs> the groundwork. Sorry. Um, no, I shouldn't apologize for that pun. That was brilliant. If I meant it. Um, so I just got to wrap that around this side here and finish up this end. And then once that's done, I get to do the same thing, but on this side here. Decent vantage point. There we go. So I need to get the same thing done over here and reshape this so it comes up to the bottom of the castle. The actual bottom of the castle is on that dirt line over there. And I want to, so I want to build that up a little bit more so it looks like the proper part of the mountain. And that'll let me finish up that cave over there. And then I'll probably go through and do a great terraforming. I'm also going to pull that little bit of mountain over there up underneath the track so it looks like the track is sitting on the mountain's side. Um, hopefully I can get some of that done this week or this weekend. And we'll see from there. And that's uh, those are the big grindy projects that I've got going. There's some villager stuff that I want to do. A couple of things I mentioned at the top of the stream. And if you were not able to catch the top of the stream, I keep all the replays available on Twitch and Mixer as long as those services allow me to keep them there. I also upload them to my YouTube channel. There's a link to the YouTube channel down in the description at the bottom. Uh, I'm new to the streaming thing, so I'm still getting a few things in place. That's why we're tentatively calling this Season Zero. Uh, I'll probably do a big base walkthrough once we get another couple of pieces in place. Kind of show show around what we got going, like some of the custom paintings that we got set up and that sort of thing. Hello puppies. 
got all the various bits and builds and bobs and things. Um, there we go. So we got all that going, and I uh, just want to thank you all for joining along. If you're watching this on Mixer or Twitch, we keep the stream archived, so we've got all the stream archives on YouTube. Link is down below in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, then you know where the YouTube channel is because, well, you're already there. And we do this live Tuesday starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. And uh, if you would like to help out because you know, servers aren't cheap, if you got some value out of this and you'd like to help out or return a little bit of value, live.anonjunior.com will take you to a donations page or tip page, depending on how you want to look at it. And you can get your name up in those thank you credits up there. And um, Thursdays, I stream a stream called Games Revisited where I take a look at a classic game and do a walkthrough of a classic game. Uh, not so much a walkthrough as, uh, I guess a run through would be better because I, I'm not walking you through step by step, do this here, do that there. It's more a chance to take a look at an old game and, and uh, feel all the nostalgia if you remember playing it back when it was released or get introduced to the game and the world that it created if you've never seen it before. And that is Thursdays at 6 p.m. This Friday, I'm going to do the 47% where I stream World of Tanks. And we jokingly call it the 47% because, well, we're part of the crew that makes the top half possible. And uh, I, if you heard earlier in the stream, I'm not sure if I'm going to continue that one much longer. I haven't decided yet, so stay tuned for more if that's something you're interested in. Uh, do let me know. There's a link to my Twitter uh, Twitter feed just about everywhere. and um, But I will definitely be doing that at least this Friday, starting at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. So this is where I say thank you, have fun, have a good night. Hope to see you next time.